Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Okay, so this is quite a difficult question, so I'd recommend you stopping the video and just reading through the question thoroughly, because basically what we need to do is we need to factorise 6x squared minus 7xy minus 20y squared, make that equal to zero. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 6 times minus 20 and I'm going to get negative 120. Now the two factors of that that multiply together and then add together to make minus 7 is going to be minus 15 and plus 8. So therefore I can rewrite my equation in a slightly different way. I can write that as 6x squared and then rather than writing my negative 7xy, I'm going to write that as negative 15xy, and that's going to be plus 8xy, and then I've got my minus 20y squared equals 0. Therefore, if I look at the first two terms, I can factorise those first two terms for 3x. And what I'm going to get is going to be a bracketed term, which is going to be 2x minus 5y. OK, I look at the second two terms. I can factorise those for plus 4y. And guess what? In the brackets, I'm going to get 2x minus 5y. So therefore, what I've got now is two terms which are the same. So I can rewrite that as 3x plus 4y and that's going to multiply by 2x minus 5y. So what I've done then is factorise my original equation. Now, I appreciate there might be other ways of doing this, but this is the way I would do it. And there is a playlist that I can point in the direction of if you're not so sure. OK, so I've now got um, the value of 3x equals minus 4y. I've also got a value of 2x equals 5y. So what have we got there? Bearing in mind, we are looking for the ratio x, y, and we're also told that x and y are both positive. OK, so the first one, I can actually say, well, if I've got x over y, that's going to equal to minus 4 over 3. So therefore, I've got x to y is going to be equal to minus 4 over ratio 3. OK, well, that's not going to work for me because I've got to have a positive value of x. So actually, I'm going to dismiss that particular one. But if I look at my second one, I can write that again as x over y equals 5 over 2. Therefore, my ratio is going to be x to y is going to be equal to 5 to 2. And that would be the answer to this particular question. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.